This question per se is a very easy question. What we'll do is we'll compute whatever has been asked of us. And subsequently, let's invest a couple of minutes towards the end to derive an inference based on the results that we are going to get with this question. Let's set about doing the first part. Solve the question. Find out these three trigonometric ratios. What is given to us? The triangle is right angled at B and they mention that sin C is equal to 5 by 13. What is sin theta? Sin theta is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin C is going to be equal to the measure of the side opposite to this angle C. This angle C, side opposite to it is equal to AB. Hypotenuse is equal to AC. So sin C is equal to AB by AC, which is equal to 5 by 13. So what we'll do is, let's say if this ratio is 5 by 13. So if AB equals 5K, then we can conclude that AC is equal to 13K. Step one, what are we going to do? Let's compute the value of the third side, which is equal to BC. BC by using Pythagoras theorem is equal to hypotenuse square, which is square of AC minus AB square. AC is equal to 13K. So 13K square minus square of AB, which is equal to 5K square. 13 square is 169. So this is going to be under root of 169K square minus 5 square of 5 is equal to 25. So 25K square. This is equal to 169 minus 25 is a 144 under root 144k square, which is equal to 12k. So you found out the measure of the third side. Let's quickly summarize up to this point in a printed form, right? So we know that if AB by AC equals 5 by 13, then if I assign AB to be equal to 5k, AC will be equal to 13k. Apply Pythagoras theorem, find the value of BC, which is equal to 12k. We found out all three sides. Now let's set about finding out these three ratios. Let's start with sine A. Sin A is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite to what? Opposite to angle A. The side opposite to angle A, opposite to A, this is adjacent to C. Side AB is opposite to angle C and it is adjacent to angle A. So finding out sin A, opposite to A is BC. Hypotenuse is AC. So which is equal to 12K by 13K, which is equal to 12 by 13. Second one is finding out the value of cos A. Cos A is adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent to what? Adjacent to angle A. Side adjacent to angle A is equal to AB by hypotenuse AC. So that's equal to 5 by 13. Lastly, cos C. Cos C is adjacent by hypotenuse. Adjacent to what? Adjacent to angle C. The side adjacent to angle C is BC. BC by AC is equal to 12 by 13. Hold on for a minute. This is where the inference part starts. This is a 5 by 13 sin C. This is also a 5 by 13. So sin C and cos A are one and the same. A 12 by 13 and a 12 by 13, these two are also same. What is 12 by 13 in this case? Sin A. In this case, it's equal to cos C. So let's just take this inference to the next slide. In any triangle, right triangle, right triangle that B, you'll find this always working. Sin A will be equal to cos C and cos A will be equal to sin C. Why is this working? We just saw it in the last slide. I'll just reiterate it as we are doing it right now. The side opposite to angle C, which is AB, is going to be the side adjacent to angle A. And the side opposite to angle A will be the side adjacent to angle C, which is going to be equal to BC. So when we compute at sin A, we needed the side opposite to A, which is equal to BC. When we compute at cos C, we needed the side adjacent to angle C, which is also BC. So in both these cases, in one case, it was BC was the opposite side to A. In another case, BC is the side adjacent to C divided by the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is AC common to both. Therefore, sin A equals cos C. The same logic works here. When we compute at cos A, we needed a side adjacent to A, which happened to be equal to AB. When we are finding out sin C, the side opposite to sin the angle C is equal to the same AB. So cos A or sin C, when we found out the side adjacent to A, it ended up being the side opposite to C. So it is AB divided by hypotenuse, which is equal to AC. So in any right triangle, right triangle that B, this will hold good. Sin A will be equal to cos C and cos A will be equal to sin C.